All right, today we're going to put mud flaps on the Model 3. I ordered from Amazon. You can get it on the link downstairs or at the bottom of the page. Let's take a look here. We'll open up the box. One set, two set, and a set of clips. Awesome. And a set of screws. Now, one of the parts that they show in the instructions is to put screws in the top here. Meaning, if we put screws, they're going to be up over here somewhere. Uh, although, from what I've been reading, is that may not be strong enough to, to hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put double-sided tape. And if double-sided tape doesn't work in, let's say, about a month or so, I live in a rainy place. So if that doesn't hold, um, I'll definitely let you guys know not to, uh, not to use double-sided tape, at least in there. The double-sided tape I'll be using is the Scotch Guard or uh, Scotch Guard double-sided tape. The reason I'm using it is because it is black and it sort of matches the inside of the liner. All right, let's uh, get started. Let's unwrap and let's see tools that we will need. Here we have tools that are being used for this job. Flat nose screwdriver, 10 mil socket. And I chose to use the double sided tape so that I wouldn't have to screw into the body of the, uh, of the vehicle or the top part of the uh, mud flap. Okay, so we've unpacked. We got uh, a front set and a rear set for the, uh, for the right. And then for the left, let's worry about that later. Let's get going on getting the front. So what I've also done is I've cleaned out thoroughly the area of where we are going to be sticking. And what we have to do is take those clips off. And uh, it's pretty simple to uh, take, care, take care of those clips. Right, simply get in and pop that out. That's one out. And pull it out. Get the next one in there. Just find the. There we go. Pop that one out as well. Let's clean that area up really good. Now. What I'm going to do is first of all, let's see how it lines up. Oh my gosh, that looks, that fits nice. It's a nice, good, clean fit. Okay, what I'll do is the double sided tape I'll put on here as not to um, uh, take a guess as to where it, where it needs to be and then go from the bottom and then up. All right, here we go. So now that we've put it on, we take the clips that they supplied, because the, um, the ones that come with the car seem to not fit once these are in there. I think it's a little bit too thick. So we put that in. Make sure it lines up. And give it a good push. Perfect. It's, now it's on there, pretty solid. That's not going anywhere, and we can move on to the rear flaps. All right, so now we're on the back. It's a little bit different, as in this is more of a different kind of material, but underneath, I can't really get the camera up there very good, is a bolt. There's the bolt. So what we have to do is undo that bolt. That bolt is a... Uh, I'm sorry, the gimbal's getting a little bit confused here. That bolt's a size 10, uh, 10 millimeter, and what I'll do is I will uh, take that off and then uh, put on the rear mud flap. Uh, the rear mud flap seems to have a, uh, a notch here that actually clips in to up over here, 
So that's uh, that, that's uh, that's good. Let me uh, let me get started with that. All right. So undoing the bolt at the bottom here. Uh, Ten mil. Just a lot easier if I just. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's uh, clean up the area really good. I've got some muck here. Let's get rid of this uh, tab. Let's pop it out. Got the uh, tab ready here. So now what we do is Yes, we line it up as best we can. Let's start off with that one there. Let's put that into place. Perfect. Now we get the bolt underneath. And it lines up perfectly. So far, very impressed with the fit and finish of the of the um, the mud flap. Seems to be doing really well. Let's uh, put that in. There we go. All right, that's in there nicely. It's a beautiful, nice, that's just a shadow that fits in there. All right, looking sharp. All right, now we go on to the next side, do the other side, but uh, at the end of the day, that's it. So.